Hi guys, Walters World here, and I'm in Bamberg, looking to give you some information. 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 And I'm going to do a little thing here on learning German about just the city vocabulary. Like, what are the things you see, you know, so you know what everything is when you walk by it. Alright, so let's start off with just what I see right in front of me. Well, we'll start off with a bike. A bike is a Fahrrad. Fahrrad. And the Germans love their bikes. They ride them all the time. And it was silly. As you look at here, you don't see too many really nice bikes. The thing is, you'll see bikes like this, and a 20-year-old will be riding it, or an 80-year-old will be riding it. So it's kind of funny. Okay? Now, then, of course, when you're traveling, you're going to see a lot of churches. Okay? A church is a Kirche. Kirche. Okay, die Kirche. All right? Now, there's different words for it. Like, a normal church is just Kirche. If you want to say cathedral, it's called Dom. Dom, okay. Now over here we got ooh we got a nice little uh, little sports car coming by. Uh, a car is an auto. Auto das auto, okay. Oh now I'm just just spinning around to show you what we have. Now we're here on this this square here. Now this a square is called a platz. Platz, okay. And there's sometimes you have the words for it, but platz is the main thing for square or location. Now we have a store right here. A store is a laden. Laden. Okay? Well, let's keep walking around because what I'm going to do is just kind of show you some of the stuff and just walk around so you can see. Because here, a lot of times you don't get to go. I mean, there's not. Somebody, I mean, they have the big supermarkets, which are supermarkt, supermarkt, or markets, markt, markt. But a lot of times you have to go to an individual bakery or or uh, butcher and stuff like that. So it's like butcher, baker, candlestick maker. We're going to be going through some of those words too. Now we're coming up here and we're at a, oh, there's an Italian restaurant. Okay, a restaurant is restaurant. Restaurant. It's pretty simple. Okay. And next to it, of course, haha, we have a nice bar here with a beer garden. Now, beer garden also is biergarten. Biergarten. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing. Just like kindergarten is kindergarten. Kindergarten. See, very similar. But if you want to say a bar, you can say bar, like ba, ba, or you can say kneipe. Okay. Kneipe is more the technical term to call it, and that's what more, most people use, okay? So, kneipe. Okay, die kneipe. Now, we're walking through here. So, oh, okay, I'm walking down the street. All right? A street is a strasse. Strasse. Okay? Now, you see where I am. These cars can't come, so I'm in a pedestrian street. It's ending here. A pedestrian street, or the pedestrian district, is called a Fußgängerzone. Fußgängerzone. So, the footgoers zone. Okay, who's getting a zone? Now let's go through. Oh, we got a hotel right here. Okay. Hotel is hotel. Hotel. But you might hear other words for it. Like even here, they have it as Gasthof. Gasthof for hotel. Gasthof, which is more like a guest station. Alright. Uh, you might also see pension. Pension, which is a pension, which is more like a bed and breakfast. Okay. Things like that. Now, of course, you might get sick and there's, you know, buy a your bare aspirin, it's actually Baya, okay, uh, German company, and we're at the Leuven Apotheca, which is a pharmacy. Apotheca is pharmacy. Apotheca. And anytime you see that red um, A there, or sometimes they'll have a green cross outside, that'll show you that it's an apotheca. Okay, they aren't, you know, it's kind of hard to find a, a 24 hour one, so you have to go and look, and they'll tell you where a 24 hour one will be. Okay, well, let's keep going. All right. Oh look, we have a baccarat. Ooh, look at all that. Oh, look at all those little cookies and croissants and stuff. And that is a baccarat. A bakery is a baccarat. Baccarat. Okay. Now I continue down the street, and I should tell you, you know, there's some other things. Like if you want to say city, city is Stadt. Stadt. All right. Now a village is a Dorf. Dorf. Excuse me. And then if you want to say capital, you say Hauptstadt. Hauptstadt. Okay, now we're here and I'm outside the butcher. Okay, I don't know if you can see inside there. We got the little piggy. And a butcher, you can see up there, the Altstadt Metzgerei. Metzgerei is butcher. All right. Now, oh, there's a nice one. You can see him hacking the flesh away. Anyway, let's keep walking down. See if there's anything else I should tell you. Okay, now, in terms of buildings, okay, a building like this, is a gebäude. Gebäude. That means building. Gebäude. Okay? Now, a house, okay, which is a gebäude, 
technically, would be house. House. Okay, is your house. Alright. Um, Gebäude is building. And then if you have a, an apartment, apartment is a vonum. Vonum. Alright. Now, of course, when you walk around town, you might need some help. So you have the police, the polizai. Polizai. And if there's a fire, foyer, foyer, you're going to need the fire department. And that's the foyer there. Foyer there. Okay? Um, let's see, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, if you want to go shopping in a big store, you're going to see something that's called a Kaufhaus, which is kind of like a department store. Kaufhaus. Okay, there's a couple of big ones here, Kashtat and, and Kaufhaus are the two bigger ones that I've seen around. But they're Kaufhaus. Kaufhaus. Okay, big shopping thing. But a mall is an Einkaufszentrum. Einkaufszentrum. Okay? Einkaufszentrum. Then, oh, up there, who see that pretty building up there? That is the town hall, the old town hall of Bamberg. A town hall is a Rathaus. Rathaus. Okay? Now, see here on the corner there, there's no one standing there? On the corner, because you might say, hey, where is that building? It's on the corner. A corner is an Ecke. Ecke. And a lot of times you're going to have signs on the corners or, or whatever, and that's called a shield. A sign is a shield. Shield. But if you have a traffic light, it's an ampel. Ampel. Okay? And then normal lights are licht. Licht is light. Okay? Now, is there anything else I want to tell you about on here? Oh, then of course you have how you travel around town. Now, you could go and take a taxi. And a taxi is very simple. Taxi is taxi. Taxi. Or you might take a train, which is a dug. Dug. Okay, dug is train. All right. Now, when you take a train around the country, it's a dug. Okay. But if you, like, take the train through town, like a suburban train, a lot of times that's called an S-Bahn, for a Schnellbahn, fast train. Schnellbahn, which is actually the slowest train they have. S-Bahn. Or you might take the metro, or the subway, and that's called an U-Bahn, which means Unterbahn, underground train. U-Bahn. Okay. Uh, the train station is the Bahnhof. Bahnhof. Or main train station, which you're going to see a lot of, is Hauptbahnhof. Hauptbahnhof. And they're going to put, you're just going to see it when you come to the train station, it's going to say HBF. Okay. Now, of course, we haven't seen too many trees here, but... Our little tree right here, that's a baum. Baum. And then if we had any flowers, they would be blumen. Blumen. Okay? So, oh, then let's uh, see, anything else, anything else? Well, tourist information is tourist information. Information, okay, so it's the same way. See right there? And of course, look at the bottom one there, the WC, the toilet. You just ask for the WC. WC, or toilette. And then, one more thing I, do, I guess I should tell you about is if you're going to go to a museum, museum is museum. Museum. All right? Now, I'm going to walk down this beautiful street here and enjoy a nice day here in Bamberg, one of my ten favorite cities in Germany. So I hope that helps. You can see the Michaelsberg way, way, way over there, the monastery. And I want to enjoy... Wow, is that the cathedral? Oh, that's the cathedral, sorry. And I want just to enjoy a nice day here in Bamberg. So you have a great day, and hopefully you learned a little bit of German today. And thanks for watching, Walter.